Yes guys, what's happening? So welcome back to the YouTube video. Today is PCA Manchester day. Woke up this morning and I was 91 kilos on the button. So that is only 0.1 kg up from yesterday, which is actually very good because did eat an extra little bit of food yesterday. After we got off stage, I had two meals of 100 chicken, 75 rice, 50 banana and 30 almond butter. And then we're meant to go and get like a burger place, but it turns out it was like a jeans only sort of a place. And by the time I got back to the Airbnb, I was just fucked, I was absolutely smashed. My legs just like would not function. Obviously haven't been on stage three times that day and just tensing the fuck out of them. So myself and Chloe ordered in Nando's. I got a sunset burger, of course, as that's the best thing in Nando's and two Perry salted fries. So that was on top of all the rest of the meals I had yesterday. I macroed that into my fitness pal and that was 1,538 calories. So quite a heavy, you know, calorie dense meal. Now I woke up this morning and I've just taken some chicken shots to send them over to Cuba. And genuinely today, I think I look like fucking 10% better than I did yesterday. I am like fuller, I'm harder. And I think in my mind, I think it's the, it's the sodium, right? Like I've always traditionally had my salt quite high. I don't really hold that much water. So I think as we're like pulling the water and the salt down, I don't necessarily think it was the water that made me kind of like lose a lot of the pop that I normally have. I think it was like the salt because I always see it in my like abs and in particular areas when I'm like flatter. And yesterday, looking back in pictures, my abs just looked like kind of shallow. They look kind of like shrunken down and stuff. Whereas this morning, they look a lot more like filled out. They look a lot harder. And overall, the look is like, it's like my muscles are just pushing against the skin a lot more. So I've sent pictures over to Cuba now. I'm just waiting on his response to see what the plan of action is for today. We're not on stage until around half 11 today. So PCA starts at 11. I'm the third class in, novice bodybuilding. So, you know, we're just chilling still in the Airbnb in Wigan now. I have to wait for Cuba to get back to me with what my plan of action for meals is going to be for the day. So I'll eat my first meal. I'll prep the rest of those. Then I have to do my top coat of tan, which Chloe is gonna do for me. And hopefully that'll turn out well because my tan was really, really good for the show yesterday. I was super happy with it. Obviously we did our own base coat on the Thursday night, washed off Friday, got to get bronze base coat on Friday night, and then got the top coat the next day. And tan was literally perfect. And look at the comparisons as well. Like I, I think my tan was like really good compared to some other guys. Mark's tan was actually immense as well. And he did the whole thing himself. So hopefully we can just kind of like replicate that today. And I think I could actually be bringing a better look to stage today based off what I look like now this morning because body weight is, is practically the exact same but I look like fuller and tighter almost so I don't know what Coop is going to do is he going to give me like a little bit more food because I'm going to be on stage a little bit later not entirely sure what the plan of action is but I will update you when he sends me that across I'm going to have Chloe um, behind the camera today to, to try and vlog as much of this day as possible obviously she won't be able to you know do that in the venue but we'll try and get some kind of iPhone footage and you know behind the scenes footage before the stage after the stage footage as well this is going to be a pretty much in and out job today because I'm going to be on stage at like 11 half 11 Mark will be on at like 12 half 12 and because Jem is our overall MK Classic bikini champion she is competing <laughs> I'm in Italy next week, so the lads aren't actually going to come for sushi with Sushi Mommy first tonight. They're just going to head home. They're going to chill out. Probably the best call for them to do, just to get Jen prepared to be her best next weekend. So that's the plan of action for today, guys. We have a triple espresso and an Americano here to get into me because I'm still actually trying to, to, to properly go to the toilet. You know, I haven't like properly went to the toilet in over two days now. I've had like just a, one tiny little bowel movement yesterday, but still feel a little bit constipated and blocked up. So I had another scoop of Digest Max, half a scoop of Digest Max with some Hydro Max this morning, like I normally would, and then this coffee. So hopefully now after this meal and when I get the tan done and before we actually leave to go to the venue, I will have like a proper bowel movement. And then stomach will be nice and tight for when we're on stage, but it's novice bodybuilding today. And I think Kuba told me yesterday, I probably posed a little bit too classic at the, at the bodybuilding yesterday. So I'm just going to pose today the way I want to pose, the way I think my physique looks the best in some of the shots and we'll see how it lands. Last year, the novice category was huge at the PCA Manchester. There was like nine or 10 guys. So I'm expecting it to be the exact same today, which is exactly what we want. Our nov novice class yesterday was super fucking competitive, which is exactly what we want today. But Mark is going to be doing the, the men's open at the PCA today. And I only know one other guy, Dan, who I actually bet yesterday at the, the novice of the PCA. I know no one else who's doing it. So we don't know who's going to show up. But, you know, I, I, I fancy myself to, to be at the top end of, of the call outs regardless. So we'll see what happens. But hopefully it's a big class. And hopefully I kind of see where I stand even more, you know, in terms of like open bodybuilding or just, well, this is novice bodybuilding, but bodybuilding in general. 
and then based off how today goes we'll make the decision for whether we're going to do novice or classic in, in the PCA Ireland so uh, yeah stay tuned guys okay so first meal here and this is going to be the second meal as well we've got 50 grams of rice 50 grams of banana 30 grams of almond butter and 40 grams of honey which is uh, a little bit excessive with this amount of almond butter and rice but just got to do what you got to do keep the stomach volume nice and small so that's going to be meal one and two today with a squares bar and then meal three which is going to be our pre-stage meal it's going to be three rice crispy squares 20 almond butter and 40 honey so very similar setup that we would have done for yesterday also just one gram of salt per meal as well and the same kind of pre-stage pump that we did yesterday so that is jp pumpage 20 grams of honey and two grams of salt i mixed the honey in with the pumpage yesterday which was a bad call i think i'm just going to eat it with a spoon today i had 350 mils of water upon wake i'm going to have 350 mils with this meal 500 in between meals so that should leave me sitting at around two and a half liters i think before i get on stage which i think should be perfect for me so yeah we're going to eat this meal now guys try and prepare the next meal and then i really need to get on doing my uh, tan because we're meant to be leave here in an hour and a half and we still have to like pack up all our shit and the place is a mess and yeah we, we need to get moving that meal didn't last long and most of the honey is still in the lunch box to be honest you know what I do, right? I get the squares back and I hoover up the honey with the squares back. See that? Down there for dancing, right? Is that good? Mm. Those strawberry squares back are actually fucking good. guys so we are all packed up we are ready to rock we're just going to have our second meal here myself and mark and then we're going to head straight to the venue so ploy the topco had another round of checking shots taken that i sent to cuba and much happier with the look today like much much happier i feel like i'm fuller i'm harder even when i played the topco and took that second round of pictures i think i look a lot better again and, and mark is even tighter too so we're both super fucking happy so i'm going to just switch up how i'm doing this meal now a little bit different i'm going to put 20 of the honey in with this and then i'm going to put the other 20 on the squares bar and eat that as i think that is going to be a slightly better approach here to be perfectly honest so let's see okay i'll do the other 10 grams on the spoon fucker fuck i'm prepped lads you literally just spill shit all over you your clothes end up destroyed but at least only we're going to wear these for um, registration anyway so much much more chilled out today way less stress free i feel like that's going to translate in the look as well so we'll catch up jim when you get to the venue and uh yeah that's pretty much it yes guys so meal number two has gone down we are currently en route to the venue now checked in with kuba sending my last set of pictures just before i ate my last meal he actually told me to have an extra 500 mils of water so 
Originally planned was to have like 2.2 litres of water before we stepped on stage. If I add that extra 500 mil, it'll be 2.7. Kind of makes sense as it's kind of later on during the day. And normally my best look is like after two meals and when I train, either before, I after, before or after I train. And normally I have like four or five litres of water in me then. And I did think yesterday that like, my look could have been better and I think a lot of it was probably potentially dehydration or like lack of salt intake as obviously I had that Nando's last night and I feel like my abs and my muscles are just like pushing against the skin a little bit more so I do think the addition of a little bit of water and the extra sodium that I had last night will actually bring a little bit of a better look today but we'll see but I'm way more relaxed today really looking forward to this show legs feel so much better today thankfully because i was kind of worried about that last night because they were absolutely smashed after all the walking and obviously the tensing on stage yeah it's just it's mental really because such a big adrenaline dump after the show yesterday and it was such good fun and it's almost surreal that we're on our way to another show now like even though i done my tan a while ago and all that i'm like oh fuck I'm, I'm actually competing again so it won't really feel real until i actually get there and get backstage again it's kind of a strange feeling and i don't know if i ever will do like back-to-back -back shows like two days in a row again but good experience nonetheless so mark is feeling a lot better today i believe in how he's looking much much tighter tighter this morning definitely, tighter this morning, definitely and uh much happier as well with the kind of uh overall look so we're both pretty confident heading into this show. Both have less stress, I think. And I think just the fact that we've dusted off the cobwebs after yesterday is a big thing because I've been away from stage for three years. Mark has been away from stage for four years. And we got a lot of positive feedback yesterday too. So, you know, we're feeling good going into this show. And I think that confidence will shine through when we do get on stage. We'll be a lot more comfortable, I do think. Yeah, it should be a fun show. The venue here is... The lighting is incredible, so I'm hoping the pictures turn out a lot better than the pictures yesterday. I really do like that Wigan venue though, as far as like the two bros venues go, it's definitely a lot better than Braywick. This Middleton Arena is a little bit of a kip, but the stage itself and the lighting is immense. So uh, yeah, and the PCA shows are very well run too. And it's better because we go out on stage, we do our kind of uh, rounds, our comparisons, and then we do our posing routine straight away afterwards. You don't have to go off stage and come back on. You just literally come back after all the classes um, or do they give you your medals after that as well? Yeah, I, I think, no, they come back and give you all the, all the results afterwards, but you don't have to kind of go on and off stage like more times like the two bros shows. So uh, yeah, I just think it's, it's done uh, a little bit better. So I'll actually be able to watch Mark when he is up on stage and then just pop back for the, for the results of my category. So yeah, guys, next bit of footage you'll see will probably be at the venue. So we'll catch you there. 20 past 11 from then, but be backstage from around 10.30. Oh yeah, uh, Dara McNamara. What class? Uh, novice bodybuilding. Can I get 27 please? Have you got wristband? No. Left wrist please. Uh, badge goes on this side as well. Yeah, yeah. It's great, thank you very much. There we are. Perfect. Right, so it is triple espresso time, 100%. And then I need to, I have 12 minutes before my next meal, so I need to go in, get my trunks on, and take some pictures for Cuba. And then I might get around the posing on this camera as well. And then we'll eat our next meal, and then we'll be on stage probably around half 11, but we'll probably have to be backstage at 11, so kind of cutting it tight, but we'll get it done. Just gonna send these to Cuba. No, I'm not doing it, sorry. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, but one thing. more around here, I feel like the lighting is terrible, but anyway. Yes guys, what's happening? Coming at you with the voiceover here. So, as I mentioned, the lighting is absolutely terrible here. It does me zero justice whatsoever. And after I actually took this video and took those photos and sent them to Cuba, I was not happy at all. But I think it was partly the lighting and partly because we needed to make some adjustments here. So I know I mentioned earlier on in the video that I reckoned why I was maybe a little bit flatter than I wanted to be on stage at the MK was partly because of the sodium. Now, I think that could have been the case, but actually it was more so the water, right? I think my physique looks better when I have a lot more water in me. And when Kuba seen my check-in pictures, obviously I mentioned in the clip when I was on the way in the car that he wanted me to have an extra 500 mils of water. But once he seen those pictures, he was like, mate, get even more water into you again. So I ended up drinking like five and a half liters of water before I got on stage. So that is a lot. And it's normally what I kind of drink 
before I kind of take those post-workout pictures that I always take, which is always when I feel like I look my best. So very interesting data that we have gathered, guys. And to be honest, I think it's lessons learned moving into the PCA Ireland show that I will definitely be drinking a lot more water and I'll try and do it earlier in the day as well so that I am bringing a much fuller and harder package as it made a big, big difference this show. How's the time? Just keep touching up. Stood on the line that your numbers are visible and that you are posing to the judges. Competitor 22, a small step to your left. Thank you. Audience members, a round of applause for your novice bodybuilders. Gentlemen, a quarter turn to your right. Let's go, Dara! A quarter turn facing the rear. Quarter turn to your right. And a quarter turn facing the front. Gentlemen, front double biceps. Lovely. That's all you, Dara. Last spread. Side, chest, any side. Gentlemen facing the rear, back double biceps. Rear last spread. Gentlemen facing the audience, abdominals and thigh. This is your shot. There you go. 27 all day. And a most muscular. Thank you, gentlemen. Please ensure. Right guys, so PCA Manchester, second place, happy with that to be honest, there was six guys in my class when I was backstage, I, I kind of knew I was going to be top three, um, the guy who was in third was actually an absolute monster, if he was in shape he would have won the whole thing, but I just out conditioned him, um, the guy who won came first place, no complaints there, he was much bigger than me, I think, I seen him backstage and like I kind of see his gut hanging out and like, you know, his shape wasn't the best, but he, he was a lot bigger than me and uh, he definitely deserved to win. But I really fucking enjoyed my time on stage today. I think like I really needed to like warm up after yesterday, but I think yesterday, like I, like I wasn't happy with how I was looking, like I said, but today I was like really like feeling how I was looking a lot more. I was, you know, I drink, drank way more water. I had that sodium heavy meal last night. So I think it's just lessons learned into the future. I think for me and my physique, I don't really hold that much water. so pulling my salt down and pulling my water down a ton for me, it just fucking makes my physique look all shrunken down. And I can always tell by looking at my abs and stuff like that. But yeah, lessons learned moving into the Ireland show, but 
I'm going to stick with the novice bodybuilding for Ireland and I'm coming for that fucking W. I want that clean W in like a decent sized class at the fucking Ireland show on home turf with my parents there, with Chloe there. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it guys. So uh, I'm not going to ramble on too much longer as we just kind of want to get out of here. We want to kind of take a couple of pictures. Then we've got sushi booked for four. So that is going to be absolutely epic. And we got to let Mark and Jim go too and all our shit is in the back of their car. So I'll do a proper like post show wrap up and round up and my thoughts and stuff like that in this video maybe a little bit later on but yeah guys for now also we got some donuts i enjoyed one already i have a caramel biscuit there might have that later but uh yeah we'll get out of here now and i'll show you the sushi i will definitely show you the sushi because i'm going to eat a lot of that but let's go guys good result today very happy confident heading to the ireland show so yeah yes people how are we whole crew is in strong Ryan is doing his full-time thing, eating a meal here with a with a wooden spoon. Oh, We've got yeah. Big Joe Gan here as well. So whole crew came in strong. Funnily enough, actually, I was backstage and I was just about to come on for my posing routine. And I seen the two lads like walk in the door and like look around like that. And I was like, oh unreal, because they're gonna call out Darren McNamara now, and the lads are gonna the lads are gonna turn around and they're just gonna oh, see me. Perfect. So they were like, oh perfect timing. So I walked out and I knew because they were there. I was trying to walk out and see could I see him so I could point at him and be like, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I didn't. But then I knew they were there and I knew obviously like Chloe was there and everyone else was there. So I really enjoyed like the, the actual posing routine and the pose down and confidence is just a lot better. So now yeah, we're just chilling out here outside. The ladies are about to go on and honestly the amount of fucking people queuing waiting inside to get in there. The place is fucking absolutely jammers inside there. So Joe has a client competing later on. I feel bikini shore so I feel very sorry for him because he's gonna be waiting around a long long fucking time. But uh yeah Max over there wrapping up his YouTube clip I think we have to get all our shit out of his bag. I have to shower clean myself up a little bit. I actually want to look nice when me and Chloe go out for uh, a meal later on. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Just thought I'd check in with you with, with all the boys. So, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Proud of the pro. Yes. <sighs> home, sweet home. So, we're back home, guys, and I'm actually very happy that we have about 40 minutes before sushi, and it's only like a 10 minute walk away, so that we can chill out a little bit, I can shower, I can get changed, get myself freshened up. But, Chloe, has actually surprised me with a present. So, a present for being so good to me. So I haven't actually opened it yet, and I've no idea what it is. You have to slide it out sideways now, please. So I have to slide this out sideways and see what it is. Like this, is it? Right. Let's see what this is. Ah, oh, Chloe, for fuck's sake. <gasps> Best coach, look at that, number one. Oh, sick. Woo -hoo. Fresh. They are fucking serious. Chloe, you're the best. I know. You are the fucking best. These are legit. I'm gonna wear these right now when we go to sushi. Hopefully I don't get tan over them. And I actually love these new bands and I wanted a fucking pair of them for ages. So I have actually two new pairs of shoes, both new bands. Thank you, Chloe. You're welcome. You're the best. And a little card as well. Chloe doesn't do cards. I don't do cards. I won't read this out for the YouTube because yeah, it could be could be a little bit emotional. Oh god, okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have to <laughs> it's pretty long. We're gonna have to turn it off for this. But thank you, Chloe. And uh yeah guys, we'll catch up with you for the sushi. Right guys, it is sushi time. So all you can eat sushi here and you have to order rounds. So you get like one order per round. Here we've got the first round. So we've got some dragon rolls, some mango salmon rolls, and then some salmon and avocado wasabi rolls. So normally when me and Chloe come here, what we do is we split it up in like, I have two thirds, she has one third. So I'll have like four of these and she'll have two of those. And then we we'll kind of split it up in that sort of order. She'll have four of those, I'll have 12 of these. And uh, we just keep ordering as we go. So. This is the first round here. I'm not gonna show you the rest of the rounds as they come, as they kind of bring the stuff down in drips and drabs, but I just wanted to wait for the first round to show you so it was, for, so it was nice for the YouTubers. But yeah, I'm gonna keep a roll count today and uh, let you know what I've eaten towards the end. And we'll probably show some other bits and pieces, some different bits that we've ordered as they kind of come along. But yeah, I am now starving, guys. So we're gonna tuck into this. We've got our soy sauce ready, we've got our wasabi ready. Oh, and we're gonna enjoy this.